The subject of today's video is a figure often criticised by many in the online F1 community, whilst at the same time being unknown to other more casual fans. He is currently designing the circuit for the controversial 2021 Saudi Arabia Grand Prix, and in recent years has been regularly employed to redesign tracks and design new ones altogether. After over 30 years in the business, people still question his choices, so today we're asking, who is Herman Tilke? Tilke was born in 1954 in Olpe, Germany. Not much information is available about his early life. He had a modest racing career, competing in touring car racing in the 1980s, mainly on the old Nürburgring Nordschleifer circuit. He also competed in VLN Endurance Racing and 24 Hours Nürburgring, winning some races in the former with Dirk Adorf in 2003 and 2004. Of course, it was his career as an engineer and racing circuit designer where he really made his name. After completing his civil engineering degree with specialisation in transport and traffic management, he established Tilka Engineering in 1984, bringing together the disciplines of architecture, civil engineering and electronic engineering. Here is his very slick website. His contacts and past racing got him an early job designing and building a short access road at the Nürburgring. His first major job was the transformation in the 1990s of the fast Österreich ring to the much shorter A1 ring in Austria. Many more would follow. Other than for the 2010 redesign of Silverstone, Tilke is the only designer of the four officially recognised by the FIA to be commissioned to design tracks. Tilke took part in the major revamps of the Hockenheim Ring, Circuit de Catalunya and Nürburgring in Europe, and the Fuji Speedway in Japan. As the only person commissioned to design F1 tracks, he has inevitably faced criticism. He can't simply replicate Spa every time. Tilke has created many tracks from scratch. Sepang International Circuit, Bahrain International Circuit, Shanghai International Circuit, Istanbul Park Racing Circuit, Valencia Street Circuit, Marina Bay Street Circuit, Yas Marina Circuit, Korea International Circuit, Circuit of the Americas in Texas, and the Sochi Autodrome in Russia. There are some good circuits in there, namely Sepang and Istanbul, but also some not so good ones. F1 fans aren't the only people to have misgivings about some of these tracks. Former driver and team owner Jackie Stewart was critical of Tilke in a 2011 piece in the Daily Telegraph, blaming his designs for the lack of exciting overtakes at many Formula 1 races, describing them as largely carbon copies of each other. He praised the facilities of the tracks and acknowledged the contributions Tilke has made to the sport's safety, but took particular issue with the large tarmac runoff areas, which, to him, failed to penalise mistakes. The 1980 world champion Alan Jones said in a 2010 interview that some of Tilke's circuits have only one overtaking place and are just one constant radius corner after another, suggesting that there should be more overtaking options and right-angled corners. On the other hand, Tilke has his defenders. A 2009 profile of Tilke in The Guardian quoted commentator and former F1 driver Anthony Davidson. He understands the demands of the modern cars. He gives us runoff areas and it's all well thought out. They're enjoyable to race on because they suit modern F1 cars. It now looks like it has been scrapped, but the original 2020 Vietnam Grand Prix was designed by Tilke, and during an interview about the circuit, he responded to some of his critics. We never have a clean slate on which to draw, he said. But there are guidelines. There is the land of which we are not owners. The history has to be respected, the altitude, and also other elements such as the Feng Shui philosophy in Shanghai. Then there are safety and security rules, which have evolved, and Imola taught us this with Ayrton Senna. There are also the costs. Investors want multi-purpose facilities. The expenses for a Formula One circuit range from a hundred million to a billion, as is the case with Abu Dhabi, which incorporates a hotel. Tilke went on to add that the Sochi Autodrome has been one of his biggest challenges, 
while Hanoi has also provided obstacles to overcome. Sochi was probably the most difficult project. We had to insert it in the park of the Winter Games 2014. It was not easy. As of the time of recording, the design of the Saudi Arabia Grand Prix has still not been revealed, but being a street circuit, many won't expect it to be the most exciting layout. Tilka does seem to produce his best work when he gets a near clean slate, like in Turkey or Malaysia. His worst circuits like in Russia are created with the added pressure of surrounding buildings and financial decisions. Do you think the criticism against Herman Tilka is fair? Leave a comment below with your thoughts and remember to like, share and subscribe for plenty more racing details to come.